I thought I did a quick review of this way back when I did that string of kaiju wands, but turns out I didn't, so here is Gorgo. A group of men capture Gorgo, a giant amphibious monster, and put him on display in a circus. The thing this movie gets most recognized for is being one of the few European kaiju flicks, the others most notably being Konga and Reptilicus, and for having the monster essentially being the good guy. Spoilers, I guess. The adult Gorgo comes into the story later, and it does kill many people, but only to find and rescue its child. There's not a lot of miniatures being destroyed, but the ones that are give some good shots. I like how sometimes Gorgo's ears pop out. There's a little kid in this movie. He's not nearly as annoying as Gamera Kids or Achiro, but the thing I want to mention is that he doesn't get main character treatment in the story or his interaction. Adults still talk to him like he's a child, giving him commands and pushing him away from danger. If we have to have a child character, I do like the more realistic take. I actually like the rest of the characters in the movie. Believable, well acted. There's music sometimes, but a lot of scenes which are supposed to be exciting have none, and some background music could have helped greatly. That's the main problem with this movie. Even in the city destruction scenes, it's never too exciting. The daytime jet fighters are used in nighttime fight scenes. Near the end of the movie, most of the dialogue is just a reporter detailing Mother Gorgo's attack, most likely due to how well that worked in Godzilla King of the Monsters, or 56. But unlike Steve Martin, who was the focus of that edit of the movie, this guy just shows up in that part and then just keeps showing up for the rest of it, just out of place. There are some blue screen problems, actually a lot of it throughout the first part of the movie, and with these flamethrowers. The fake smoke effects are a bit overused. Some shots have either something on the camera lens or film strip. These falling humans look pretty bad. The story at this point is nothing extraordinary. I do like the characters and I think the actors do a good job, but the effects and filmmakers just didn't make a really exciting movie, just an okay one. I'd only recommend this if the footage shown sparks your interest. Thanks for watching. Sounds like St. Patrick and the Snakes. What are you doing here?